Congratulations, Carrie, on the film. It's getting such amazing critical reaction. Thanks so much. Tell me a little bit. So you're working with two of the biggest uh, Irish actors out there, um, Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson. Tell us a little bit. Give us some inside color of what like the most uh, <laughs> Brendan and uh, Colin moment was uh, working on this film. Oh, geez, that's tricky. Well, like they're they're both kind of different, I suppose. You know, I suppose I, I really think in terms of the character when I'm doing a job, I always do. I, I don't necessarily consider myself a method actor, but I do sort of naturally start to gravitate towards the person that I'm supposed to be close to and sort of. So obviously I was, you know, more close to Colin big with more scenes together and he's just a very kind person he's really kind to all people not just you know the people who are in front of him he's kind to everyone on the crew and he would all, every friday every friday he would do something super generous for the crew like he'd have a crepe truck or coffee truck or he had a sauna brought and and all the crew could use a sauna at the weekend he was a super generous kind person to everybody. And that I think helped with the rapport. And we all loved Colin on the set for all those gifts. And then in terms of Brendan, I felt definitely um, like I had a wanted to prove myself as a great actress when I was in my scenes with him because he's so much experience and they're sort of um, an older, you know, intelligent um air to him and I felt like I was excited to show him why Martin wanted me to do the part because I'd never worked with Brendan before so I felt um there was kind of a challenge that I was really looking forward to in those scenes yeah now uh Martin McDonough is a, a really uh esteemed director uh has a very specific worldview uh way of looking at the world <clears throat> talk a little bit about kind of what it, what you see as his vision for this film. So I suppose he wanted to show the truth. He's always wants to go for the truthful side of, of human beings. And like, even if it's an uncomfortable side to them or not a very attractive side to them. So the truthful side for breakup and the, the emotions that you go through, be it a friendship breakup or a, or a romantic breakup, I feel like it could be either or. And then also the, you know, feeling rejected and all those truthful feelings. But then at the same time, doing it with humor, which is what he's so good at, is doing like kind of dark, uncomfortable things, but with like incredible humor, which isn't often that you get a movie with both. I think it's either a comedy or it's a, a drama, whereas this is sort of like it's kind of both. Yeah, yeah. And also a very sort of specific view of men and like how they interact, right? I guess so. But I think you could think about it with women, too, because if it was a woman breaking up a friendship, too, I mean, it could have been two women, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it probably would have been. I don't know if it would, how much different it would be. But yeah, I suppose with men. But I mean, at least Brendan's character told Porig he didn't want to be friends with anymore and tried to explain it to Porig. You know, he had the decency of character for that. You know, it's not like they had no dialogue and they, they weren't able to discuss anything together, if you know what I mean. So he was somewhat evolved, I feel like Colm was, in, in the defense of men. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. For you, I mean, there's so many great scenes in the film. Is there a scene for you that was the the most um that impressed you the most that i wasn't in could I'll could be could be one that you were in and one you weren't in well i always liked on the on the script like when i read the script my favorite scene was scene number 50 and it's the scene in um when when they're in the bar and and brendan comes into the bar and he says if you don't leave me alone this is how it's going to go I'm going to cut off one of my fingers like every time you come talking to me till you get it into your head. I loved that scene because I feel like there was a lot of different layers to the scene and a lot of beats to be played because he leaves and then Colin has to digest it. And then the men at the bar have to tell him, oh, you maybe you're a bit simple. And there's a lot of um, beats to be played and it's a tricky scene. And I feel like they totally nailed it. Everybody nailed it. The bartender... John Kelly, who's sitting at the bar, Colin and Brendan, like they all played it per, uh, as I had read it. So that was one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Did you have, do you think um, 
having worked on this project for so long that there's a, a message to it that that uh, Martin wanted people to leave with? I don't think so, because I do, I think it's sort of open, you know, like he doesn't answer the debate of is art more important, the pursuit of something artistic and this pursuit of to be immortalized in an artistic way. Is that more important than kindness? He doesn't really answer that question. It's and, and I don't think you can. I think it's open to debate. And then also, I think um, like I, I understood the feeling of like the, the loss of innocence that you can really damage somebody that you can really hurt somebody and permanently damage their personality and permanently change who they are. And like, you know, maybe we should be aware that sometimes if you're that if you hurt somebody that you could you could be doing that to somebody and it's not nice because that's kind of what happens to Porig at the end. He, um, he, he sort of changes his characters. It's a loss of innocence. He's not, the same person he was at the beginning of the movie. And it's so tragic. So I think there's probably that. And then I suppose the element of nature in it made me think that, you know, pity we can't be more like animals and more in the moment and more grateful for our beautiful surroundings and kinder to each other. Thanks for watching the You Interview channel. With over 3,000 original celebrity videos, we have one of the largest collections of celebrity interviews anywhere. So remember to like and comment on our videos and subscribe to the channel. If you want to get more involved, you can become a member of the channel. Membership has its perks. You can see exclusive celebrity videos and get the opportunity to ask our celebrity guests questions. We can't wait to hear from you.